Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Suryaluzel. Thanks for clicking. You might be asking, why am I doing this? Why am I sitting down on my chair, taking my minutes of my precious time that I could never get back to type Cougar Mactowell VA in the YouTube search, and I'll only have my eyes burn and melt from my skull? You know what? You know what? I went through suffering before, and I'm just going to say, bring it on. There's nothing you can do to scare me. There, there's nothing. The videos, they don't even look that bad. I've seen worse. I don't know if I've seen worse, but I, I've probably seen worse. It ain't even that bad. See, it's probably not even that bad on a short side either. Is that freaking Lola Bunny? But to also go through more of his videos after I barely tolerated the last time. Well, originally I wasn't planning on doing a part two to this madness, but yeah, this happened. Your boy gotta eat. If that's what it takes to hit 10k by the end of the year, then that's what I'm gotta focus on. I'm not doing a part three though, just telling you now, there's only so much of this furry shit I can take. In my last video, I covered Cougar McDowell VA's channel and how it has negatively affected the internet. Now, I'm going to show that the process is still going, and I don't know whether it's better or worse. Let's find out. It's time to torture myself yet again by watching garbage content and exposing it to the best of my ability. I might be a masochist at this point, I don't know. I found some newer uploads on this channel that shows the cougar is taking advantage of the popularity of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 and is continuing to make content on it. Hey, I don't mind people milking this game. I'm addicted to making these meme shorts. So even when the udder of the cow is as dry as a well, I'm still gonna find a way to suckle some more of that catnap energy. So I sat down and watched these shit videos so you, once again, don't have to. Let's start off with a video that actually might be good. Uh, not the thumbnail though. They are always gonna be bad. Alright, Uni. I have a question for you. How do you like, uh, girls? G girls? What? <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, meme image. And, and the thumbnail shows up again. The thumbnail shows up again. She can shatter a watermelon. Why? This video depicts Bobby Bear Hug talking about Valentine's Day. Makes sense. That's literally the point of her character. She talks about the love while showing two ships that can be considered canon and this garbage ship that was made by a bunch of crackheads. Love is shared through the ones our hearts long for. Okay, first one, canon. Second one, can be considered canon. Third one, just no. Everything stays consistent with the hard to watch through vibes until Bobby starts acting a little different. She starts to stop talking about the positives of love and starts to get super meta. And they do it in a successful way to the point I was actually creeped out from the experience. Oh. If you want to love others, how are they going to see the greatness if you, if you don't see it in yourself? I I just wish others could see that about themselves. Maybe then there wouldn't be so many problems. Why do some relationships have to end so horribly? Why can't we just love one another? Everyone deserves love and to be loved. And yet in the end, there's pain. You know, that's actually a really good point. Bobby is actually like giving us a life lesson that we can use in real life right now. You can use this channel. This is an educational channel now. Sometimes people don't actually love each other. The, uh, the, the more you know, put the, put the PNG up on there. There's always so much hatred, so much sadness. Why does it have to be like this? No love and things have to be so complicated, so unfair. It's not right! It's not fair for others to suffer, to feel hopelessness, when, when they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't deserve this. It's, how, how could anyone, how, how could I keep living when there's only pain? Wow, the voice acting actually is really good in this bit. Hold on. I, I just, I, I don't want to be here anymore! And there you have it! Love truly is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Just remember, even when this holiday is over, don't forget to spread love to others. And What on earth am I lo- OH MY GOD! This by far was the only video from these lines of creators that actually got me in a way. 
I'm still not a fan of the video for obvious reasons, but the way the lesson was handled in this video made it feel so out of place, and the more she kept talking, all of the positivity she felt began to either go away into nothing as she caved into despair and rejected everything around her until it cuts back to normal as the video closes off, ending with the initial statements. The reason why this video has any sort of impact on me was because I 100% understood what this character was talking about. If you're watching this video in a cozy home, you probably are thinking the world isn't that bad, when in reality this world is sometimes awful to people, and a lot of people themselves are sometimes awful. Many are just not able to express themselves due to a lack of courage and or feeling of self-worth. People usually don't tell their feelings to their crush anymore because they are more scared of how people of today would react to them, and it sometimes can cause a feeling of loneliness. Sometimes it can cause despair and misery for themselves, not to mention that so many people just flat out hate each other for no reason, and it's a serious problem of today. And it just makes life feel more miserable if you're on the short end of the stick. So yeah, I actually do dig this video a bit. I wish that the channel handled all the videos like this, minus the horny thumbnails. It made things 10 times more interesting, 10 times creepier, and it connected to reality in a way I wasn't expecting. Also funny enough, this video isn't even on Cougar's channel. It's actually on a channel known as Cookie Cutters. I know nothing about this user, but it seems that they share resources with each other, which explains the same art style and voice actors between the two. You couldn't tell them apart. So yeah, I appreciate this superior form of video style. And it's gonna go downhill real fast as we move on to self-insertion. Self-insertion is where you take alternate work and make a fan copy while adding yourself or your OC to a hypothetical version of said story. There isn't any shame in self-insertion, it just needs to be handled well, and not to ship yourself with a character, because that's usually frowned upon. Cougar decided to take some Smiling Critter OCs and feature them in shorts, where they all turn into sexy women and hit on the Smiling Critters. Yeah, I'm staying away from those, please, and thank you. A better version of this, though, would be Lemon Wolf, an OC that interacts with Crafty Corn. Crafty Corn is messing around with a drawing and Lemon Wolf wants to see. She shows Lemon Wolf, and he's very impressed, until he starts liking it a bit too much. I think they would love it! Just like I absolutely love this picture, Crafty! I... I have to go now! <laughs> the drawing that you drew, it was a very good work! Lemon? It hurts! Come on, they will definitely be as happy as me! You should know how bad the current situation is, right? Your innocent drawings can help us! I want it! Everyone wants it! And I want it every day! It made me feel like I was back alive again like back then! Let me go! Huh? Don't mess with me! Crafty! Wait! What? What is this? I, I didn't... What is this? What is this? They're trying to do like an anime high school drama! What is this? Why did I come back? Why did why did the algorithm make me come back? Why did the algorithm make me come back? Why? Why did my analytics convince me? This video wasn't as impactful as the bear hug video, but I still think it's another diamond in the rough. Not as good, but it's tolerable to an extent. Self-insertion can be cringe depending on how you handle it. So I'll give this encounter a rating of somewhat mediocre. Welp, back to shit. After these gems with deceiving masks were uncovered, I could not find anything else of proper value. There's this one video that mimics the Angel videos from before, but this time Angel is some bald Henry Stickman zero testosterone male who just looks so mentally fragile. And he and Dog Day get equally uh, along as close. Maybe even closer, I don't know, it's Cougar guys, come on, it's Cougar. Then we start seeing the usual stuff, like this horny ass thumbnail for instance. It's time to return to our favorite segment, watch a bunch of comic dubs with thumbnails that give off entirely different messages. There's these two videos right here that have these thumbnails only for them to just be compilation videos, so they try to trick you by watching their shit again. I didn't watch them, just moved on to the next ones. I'm not re-watching videos I've already seen before, anytime I can avoid clicking any one of these images is a good day for me. There's this video of Crafty Corn being very shy of Catnap until she nose boops Catnap while Catnap is flustered thinking she was gonna kiss her. Now, yeah, for the elephant in the room. For some very weird reason, these comic artists have demoted even further into the rabbit hole by going, Hey ho guys, uh, remember Catnap X Dog Day? Oh uh, yeah, yeah man, people have been eating that slop. 
Then the guy who asks that slowly and intimately looks at him as he asks, What if we make it a three-way, though? And so, this creature of more terrifying proportions was created. Yep, Crafty Corn is now thrown into the mix. We are getting so lost in delusion that we are taking a character that doesn't even show up in the chapter and throwing her into Catnap X Dog Day to make it a truple. And having either Catnap or Dog Day simp over her like crazy. I mean, come on, look at this thumbnail right here. They knew what they were doing. You know I'm not even going to be surprised if this ends up happening. Let's talk about the final video of today's topic. I'm already fed up enough as it is. This abomination, which is just a clone of this one. But at least it's new content. So that means we have to watch it. Hey. So for whatever anomaly that occurred, this comic actually had the art style and designs of the characters be consistent with the thumbnail for once. Oh, Piggy did. I have two left. Oh, oh my gosh. Dog day. Bro is actually dripped out. Okay, he's no longer insanely bulk. And he's got a leather jacket. And the design of the character is actually the design in the thumbnail of the character. Oh my gosh. Karma came and claw- I mean, no. It, not even Karma. It was just Cougar. He saw- he saw my video I uploaded almost a week ago. He saw it. He was like, oh, uh, wh what's this YouTube? Account again? Okay, let's watch. Let's take this critics. Let's just take the critics' advice. Change the character designs now. Change them now. Make Dog Day not eat for a week. I don't care. It shows a conversation where Dog Day and Crafty Corn have lunch, and Crafty Corn asks for something she describes as intimate. Oh, we know, Crafty. We know. Dog Day says sure, anything for a friend, while Catnap overhears them and butts into the conversation with Emo Boy Energy, outright hitting on Crafty and saying he could help her instead. Instead, they decide to make it a group participation and have the three of them be involved, only for it all to turn out to be a naked sculpture painting. I mean, yeah, that makes sense for a model, sometimes it involves nudity, but in this kind of context, they usually don't wear clothes, so normally that wouldn't mind. But but, but in this context, I don't know what's going to be under there, and it's just going to curse my freaking screen, and I'm just going to die. I'm just going to die. Oh, nothing to be embarrassed by, Crafty. We all learn in our own time. Right, Catnap? No! Nothing. Ah, You're absolutely ah, right ah, as usual. Ah, ah, your elbow is ah, ah, uh, What did you say, Catnap? And it ends with Catnap and Dog Day in very suggestive poses in order to make a similar painting to that one I don't remember the name of. Uh, whatever, I don't care. And there you have it. Another slew of videos, and nothing has changed. These creators will continue to partake in this manner, and people like us can say whatever we want, but we can't stop it. Cougar is just going to keep using this manner to continue using other people's comics and turn them into saucy clickbait garbage that doesn't have any actual worth to it, while the devs, mob entertainment of Poppy Playtime will continue to actually make something that matters. I'm not going to do a third part for this for many reasons. I don't want to keep sitting down and watching this junk, and even if I committed, I don't think it would work out as well as it does now, because I would just be saying the same shit and over and over and tire you all out. I'm done watching Cougar McDowell VA on this channel, but who knows, I might come back to different content farms for this game in the future. Hopefully I won't cringe near as hard. I want to make a quick apology by the way, because interestingly enough, some comments of the previous video brought up some valid points, and I want to address them. First off, I never thought Cougar made these comics. His channel has the name VA, which stands for voice actor, at least, I think. And I don't think all these art styles would come from the same people. I know these are Twitter comic artists, and I will say that you guys all did an amazing job drawing what you like, and I apologize for unintentionally making Cougar seem as he deserves all the credit. Just to know that whatever I claim on these videos, I would either be 100% certain of it, or I would be thinking in the hypothetical sense, since I don't know who made these comics, so I'm sorry I left it so vague in the previous video. And there's also this guy right here, and I'm just gonna straight up say this guy is speaking pure facts. You can read the comment out to the video right now. Mad respect for this lad right here. And with all that out of the way, that will close the curtain of today's subject. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to either like or comment on this video so it can reach out to others. 
you alone can indeed make a difference. Or subscribe if you enjoy the content. We're trying to hit 10k by the end of the year, so if you could help out, I would definitely appreciate it. I stream and make shorts on a regular basis if you want said content at a faster pace. Take care now. Love y'all.